Well, and that's a key part of it, right? The way the roster's filled out. A lot of additions, a lot of subtractions, tweaking to the roster that we saw from last season to this season. You take a look. I mean, a lot of names that were here last year gone and a lot of new ones coming in. Sarah, th the one that stands out most to me when it comes to the additions is Patty Mills. I mean, there's a lot of uh, contributing pieces there who I think Nets fans are very excited about and the organization certainly is. But you think about getting a guy like Patty Mills who can shoot, especially with... <laughs> With the spacing you can get on this team and, and obviously the incredible offensive talent he'll be around and championship experience, right? Olympic pedigree as well. He felt like the perfect fit for this team. A championship pedigree. You said and when Spencer Denwitty went down at the start of last season, a, a big part of what the Nets had dealt with throughout, and there was plenty of players who tried to fortify that area, but who else can you have to be a lead ball handler yeah. that could come in and not only play the point guard position, can play off the ball and do so with if Kyrie or James are not on the floor, play alongside with them on the floor. Patty Mills is a perfect fit for that to go along with his knockdown shooting from three, what he brings on the defensive side of the table in that position. And the ability, you said the championship pedigree, uh, that for a team that comes in with with title aspirations, having added guys who knows know what it takes to get there, how you could fit in uh, with so many different pieces throughout the course and the challenges you're going to face during the season. Patty Mills is a player uh, who has so much respect that he has garnered among players, among coaches, front offices, those in the NBA. And I am just thrilled to see what he's going to be able to do with this Brooklyn Nets team, both on the floor, but also adding to that chemistry off of it. Now, the big three, obviously, is whatever Everything centers around with this team. James Harden, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant. We see their numbers last season. You know, obviously Durant and Harden dealt with injuries that kept them out for significant periods of time. Irving able to be on the floor for 54 games. Still, you know, some time out, obviously, most notably in the playoffs. But Sarah, what's the thing you're going to be looking forward to most when it comes to these three on the floor for a more consistent period of time this season? Can we just repeat that? These three, These three on the floor, on the floor together yeah. for more consistent. Yeah. Th yeah. That. Yeah, that's the case. That because they they lit up the floor and how they were able to play with one another. And there were so many just questions and curiosity of what they would look like together. And I understand it was a small sample size. But to me, there was such a definitive understanding of roles, of how to fit the orchestration that James Harden brought to the table, the extraordinary offensive prowess and skill set that Kyrie Irving was able to bring Kevin Durant being so flexible and versatile to fit in any scenario on the floor because of his talents and his skill set. And so I think just watching these guys play together and the magic that they bring with with their ability to be unselfish but also understand how to do it within the context of context of helping the team win and that's been what it's all about with these three players and i just want us to be able to see more of it 